and secure. Okay, stamp. So, security. Helmets and harnesses secure. My foot is covering the brake. Are you secure in the back and your helmet done up? Yep, helmets and harness secure. Okay. Throttle is closed. Choke is set. Fuel is in line. And choke off. Yep. Uh, we'll go for a fly first, take off, go for a fly, just get get settled down so you can get settled down and you're fine as well. We're not going to go straight to the syllabus. Uh, we, we're just going to have a little fly and warm up a little bit and... Uh so, uh, stage one. Bar neutral, lining up. Yeah, continue with stage one. Okay, okay, blind power. Holding the bar in, blind full power. Maintaining that speed, coming up to 50 miles an hour, letting the bar come forward. We're out. And he's bar in, 60 knots, 60 miles an hour, sorry. Coming to 200 feet, still looking at fields. There's a nice one dead ahead. As you can see, there's less 300 feet. And I'm going to bring us back into a 50 mile an hour cruise climb. Are we going to be exiting the circuit straight out, are we? Yeah, just push it to that, uh, that best climb, 50 mile an hour best climb. Uh, that's it. Okay, carry your hassle checks. Okay, so height, we have uh, 2,000 feet and we will be descending, so I'll be looking down. Airframe is secure um, and suitable for this manoeuvre. Sorry, airframe is suitable for the manoeuvre um, and engine is okay as well. You're secure in the back? I'm secure in the back. I'm secure in the front. Location, we I'm going to be moving away from this populated area and I'm going to do another 360 orbiting lookout turn. Can you tell me when you're ready? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to basically finish my clearance turn when I'm there. So pointing in the right direction. Still holding 2,000 feet and I'm going to go wings level and induce my own uh, en engine. Yes? Yep, you're happy? Yep, you carry on. So we're flying along and the engine is gone. Engine okay, fun. bringing the bar in, checking the attitude, making sure the air fluid is stable, and now I'm going to enter best glide. Okay, wind is coming from that direction, so I've uh, selected my field, uh, and I'm going to be going to that field, and we're going to be doing a constant aspect approach. Okay, it's still flying the aeroplane as the primary, so it's uh, basically Mayday, 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 2 POB, Golf Charlie Charlie, Delta Zulu, uh, engine failure, attempting field landing. Okay, at that point, I'm still trying to maintain best glide. I've got loads of time, I'm going to be extending upwind because it gives me more options. Uh, I'm going to attention, uh, attempt an engine restart. Duh, 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 duh. Engine is failing to start. I'm now going to be going into my TIFF, which is throttles are closed to make sure it doesn't restart. And uh, ignition, ignition is going off, tapping that uh, to fuel. If I could reach the fuel, I would turn it off. And I'm secure, are you secure? I am secure. Right, okay, so let's focus on flying the aircraft as well. So those are the checks done. So still trying to maintain best glide. And looking at my field, I'm in a good position now. I'm gonna start entering my downwind stage. And start looking for field two. Yeah, so field two is gonna be the run on from this. And just keep that best glide and just take your time and just yeah. look at these fields whilst I'm you're going to extend myself away from the field at the moment only because it means it's going to stop me doing a really tight turn towards the end. Yeah, just talk me through field one, any issues, any problems? Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit low at the moment. Yep. We're, we're, we're still within our, we're still within our, uh, our height yeah. range, but we are, uh, we did leave that a little bit light. Yeah, I should have turned down wind a bit sooner. That's okay. Just make it work. Okay, so my reference point is going to be those tall conifers and I'm going to turn before the river, so I'm going to turn now, still keeping that 45 degrees, still keeping best glide. I'd rather make sure I'm in the field than come close to those trees. Your height's looking good. Yeah. I'm going to extend that bicycle now. Yeah. Right. I am definitely, definitely going to make that field now, so I'm going to turn on to final and then bring the speed on. So bring the speed on. You happy? 
I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. Power, 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 power. Okay, full power. Well done. Good job. Watch that pitch. Watch that pitch. And also looking out, if we do have a genuine engine failure, I'm going to be going to the left of the cows. Yeah, that was two successful emergency landings. Good job. So, are you happy for me to, uh, to start whenever I'm ready? You carry on whenever you're ready. Because we could just be flying along. Uh, so, engine failure has happened. Attitude, making sure I've got the speed. And now I'm going to be entering best glide. Right, selecting my field. It is going to be that field down there, so I'm going to get myself in a position on the downwind side of that field. Um, so wind is coming from the south. So selecting my field, wind is there. Mayday, mayday, mayday. 2 POB, Golf Charlie, Charlie Delta Zulu, uh, engine failure, attempting field landing. Okay, uh, looking to try and restart the aircraft, still looking at my field to assess where's my field one, there's my field one, and I can roll over to field two, still maintaining best glide. Okay, we've attempted to restart, so engine has failed to restart, um, and now we're into TIFF, so confirming that the throttle is closed. Ignition is going off, um, fuel is going off if I could reach it. Uh, security, I'm secure in the front, and you're secure, in, are you secure in the back? I am secure. Okay, Ooh, sorry. That was me. Okay. <laughs> it was me for a moment. So still maintaining best glide and looking at my field. That is still my field, I'm still good to get into that field at the moment and I have a run-on option. There are no power lines or anything, although it is sloping off to the right. Still trying to maintain best glide, giving me time. So it's just assessing the picture now. Okay, and try your beats. So the idea with the beats is uh, we're too high, we're too high, and we just want to lose some height. Yeah. Continue that downwind. It's like staring porridge, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. On your next beat, just continue that downwind, otherwise we end up over the field. Yeah. Also maintaining, I'm going to keep them clear of that aircraft, no, that building at the minute. I'm going to steer us away a little bit. On this next beat, I will be looking to do my approach because I think I've got enough height to do the turn and get us in. Looking at alternative fields if I'm not able to do that. Okay, I am confident we can get into that field. Bringing the speed on. I'm going to extend right slightly because this is a little bit long. I'm happy. Power, power, power. Okay. Full power applied. Go to the speed. Getting the attitude, holding the bar in to stop the attitude over rotating. Speed's coming back. Still full power applied. Looking for alternative fields if we do have an engine failure now. I'll be looking at that field into there. And then bringing the speed back to uh, best climb. And back to 50 for a cruise climb. Uh, I'm going to be steering right to keep away from these buildings. I'm going to go through that gap there. And T's and P's are good, fuel is good. Well done Giles, that was another good one. That would have been a nice safe landing, yeah? Yeah. Do you agree? And okay. Uh, yeah, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get those checklists in, but like you said, okay. I, I was more concerned with flying the aeroplane. Yeah, well ultimately, uh, it's the, the, the importance is landing safely. Yeah. Okay, so if you're in a situation where you can't get the checklist in, just land that plane safely, okay? Yeah. It could be a situation you're at 500 feet, you know, you're going to struggle to get the checklist in. Yeah. T's and P's are still good. Yeah. Join, yeah, we're going to join at the dead time from the north. Uh, so remember we're going to join at, so you have to cut the radio back on there, please. I sir. have, it's on, yeah. Oh, it's on, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, I did that as part of my uh, parts. Good, and our uh, altimeter setting. We're back on QFE. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. So, 1,500 feet on the centre line. Starting my uh, dead side descent down to 800 feet. Still keeping a look out because we're now in the circuit. Darling more Radio Golf, Charlie Charlie Delta Zulu. We're joining from the north dead side runway 19. Darling more traffic Delta Zulu, uh, turning uh, crosswind runway 19 plus. Right, final check. No one joining on crosswind. I'm going to start turning now. And we're at 800 feet. 
second. Okay, so uh, Giles, we just completed uh, six to, uh, six sixteen syllabus sixteen A, which is our forced landings. How did you think that went? Um, I think over my flying career, especially from gliders, um, and prior to coming here, I think I've done a lot of forced landings. The only thing that was new to me was actually the sort of checklist procedure. Mm -hmm. now, you know how much I like my checklists, and um, I do. I. Uh, I struggled in the initial part to get them in. I think I rushed them, mm -hmm. and then I was trying to balance between <laughs> making sure I was doing the checklist and flying the aircraft. And I think I mentioned it towards the end, didn't I? That I should just be focusing on flying the aircraft. The checklists are there, but if all I've got time for is fly the aeroplane. Yeah, I mean, in a perfect scenario, we, 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 we carry the checklist, okay, as, 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 we've been, as, as you did. Mm. Uh, but just remember, if we have a, an, an engine failure and we're low, we're low on height, low on altitude, uh, you may be in a situation where the concentration is just purely on, on, on landing the plane. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the checklists, uh, re, 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 you know, you, you've got to forget the checklists. If, that's if you start forcing the checklists in, which is costing you time, Mm. You know that could be quite dangerous. So yes, whilst we carry out the checklist, we're, we're, we were we were carrying out that manoeuvre at what two and a half to three thousand feet. Yeah, two thousand feet. Two thousand yeah. feet. Yeah. Uh, we've got we've got loads of time to carry out the checklist. But if, if for instance we was at eight hundred feet, we'd be in a situation where we would just be pick wind direction, yeah. field, make sure we're, we're, we're all safe and secure, and then and then land the plane. Uh, something else that uh, that we picked up on uh, when we're actually carrying out uh, S turns and beats, what are we doing that for? <laughs> What, what's the reason for that? <laughs> I realised after we landed that the, the whole point of a beat approach is to get rid of height. So yeah. why are we doing it at, min, at basically min sync? Be, uh, at yeah, that's right. So what we're doing, we're doing beats and S turns in best glide, which felt good. Mm. But the idea is, is that, we, that we're using them to lose height and obviously by keeping that bar forward well, we're actually we're actually maintaining it's height quite hard, it's quite hard work <laughs> so it's, it's a good exercise maneuver yeah but obviously if, if we're there to, to to lose height we can we can uh, ease that bar back to its neutral position actions after landing actions after landing we can call we can we can uh, you know as long as we've landed safe mm. uh, what do we do after landing or well, if we've landed safe and we're landed um, safe yeah then basically uh, cancel the mayday cancel call. our mayday call uh, and phone for a lift <laughs> inform the landowner try and find yeah. the landowner and the landowner and if we can fix it and fix a problem we can we can take off again if not we can we can call and get the aircraft uh, dismantled and towed away okay. but other than that you got any questions um no uh what, what do you think we'll be doing next uh what we're going to be doing next is uh precautionary landings okay so we'll move on to precautionary landings next yeah okay fair enough yeah good but now I'm, I'm happy with the landings both landings were good they were safe uh you was well within the field uh, very good another stage down so until next time everyone fly safe